Hello everyone. Welcome back to day 2 of 25 days of calligraphy magic. Today we'll be doing a small piece of wall art for Christmas. For that we are going to require first a pencil to just sketch out our design, a pointed pen or even a brush pen to ink the final piece, your choice of ink, a kneadable eraser or any other regular eraser will also work, a ruler, some piece of cardstock, a piece of copy paper or printer paper just to sketch out your design and that's it. So let's move on to first sketching the piece. So for today's tutorial I have taken this quote by Norman Vincent Peake. It reads, Christmas is the season of joy, gift giving and of families united. I choose uh, any quote that you like. First, I like to start off by drawing like a border. As you can see, my cardstock is slightly bigger than this paper. So that's why I haven't drawn um, borders at the edges. So this is what I sketched out. I'm very happy with the way it looks. I wanted like a simple design for my wall. And I think this is just perfect. So I'll be doing my final piece on this green piece of cardstock. With Since it's a dark color, I'll not be able to use any colored ink besides white. So I'll be using PH Martin's Bleed Proof White for this. I will just center my piece. Lightly draw some markings as to where you want your sentences to come. Some markings that I've made just so that I know where to start the sentence. Kind of eyeballing the distance between these two ends. I'm kind of so right now I'm trying to center it so that. I can have this text position at the center. Not the most accurate way to do it, but it'll work because this is a small piece of text. And then I'll lightly sketch out this text here because I don't want to go directly in ink. But you can do that if you want, if you're very confident. You can directly, you can just sketch it out first and then you can directly go in with ink. You don't even have to draw like guidelines. But since I like to use guidelines, that's why I've done like some rough ones and I will also sketch it first in pencil. Okay so I have sketched it in pencil. I'm gonna lightly go over it with my needable eraser. And we are ready to ink. And then we finish writing the whole piece. If you can see that the last line seems to have a lot of empty space over here. I'm going to try and do some damage control by adding some flourishes. And with that, we're done. I'm quite happy with the way it looks, but I think it would look even better with a few splatters. I think this looks even better now. It really elevates the look of the piece. And that's it. We are done with this piece. I'm gonna let this uh, dry for some time before I start erasing any of the lines. 
so I'm gonna use my trusty hair dryer for this job okay so I'm back after drying my face uh, now I'm gonna gently erase off and that's it for today I hope you enjoyed following along and I can't wait to see what you create.